So I get this question asked every so often. Um, should I learn C or should I go with some other language? Um, here are three reasons why you might want to learn C in 2018. Let's, let's get started. The first reason would be that C is actually a very simple language. It doesn't have that many features. Uh, compared to other languages such as Java or C Sharp, it, ha it, it doesn't have anything object-oriented related. Nothing of the sorts, nothing like fields, methods, inheritance, properties, nothing of the sorts. It doesn't have overriding either. Um, it doesn't have exception handling. No more, you just get an error and you have no idea where that came from. And you have to manage everything yourself. Doing that will get you into a state where you might under you will understand why you need such uh, important features in a language. And you will learn why um, each feature is important and when to use it and when you should not use it. So let's take a look at this example here. You might notice that we don't have any classes in here whatsoever, but we are actually simulating object-oriented programming in some way. Basically, we have a struct here, a data structure that represents, well, some data and that, that doesn't hold any sorts of functionality. And the functionality is, well, public to anybody, but as a first parameter, it takes in the a pointer to that object, right? So you might say that this is a method for G object, but it's just kind of a simulation. C doesn't uh, allow object-oriented programming. This leads us to our second reason why we might want to learn C in 2018. Basically, due to not having that many features in the language, you will find yourself having to implement many of them. And due to you implementing them, whenever you encounter an error, you'll be like, oh, well, that's my problem. Like, I have to solve it. There must be something wrong with my code. There's no way C is in the wrong. There's no way the framework that I'm working on is in the wrong, right? What that does is develop responsibility inside the programmer's head. Basically, they don't blame the errors on the framework or on the language features or whatever else. And they don't create some strange workarounds just to make sure that their code works properly, right? So this is one thing that I saw in my programming career. Let's see. So what my colleagues would do is define a variable here, for example, let's say carts, and initialize it with an empty object. And then again, initialize it with a function call, for example. And they'll say, well, I'm doing this because I am preventing this variable to be used somewhere else and make sure that it's initialized every single time. While in reality, this is the first time it's being used, it's being declared there. There's no way it has a value already. So they can simply copy the function call from here onto here without any worries that that's going to break their code because this one and the one before and the code before it were actually the same exact thing. And finally, the third reason would be that C is not going to go away, at least not in the near future. We will still see the C language being used quite a lot, at least in the compiler department and operating system, embedded software and whatnot. So definitely that's a bonus so that if you learn the language, well, if you ever run out of jobs, you will still be able to get a job in C, albeit maybe more difficult to find today. One reason I omitted was learning memory management yourself. Nowadays, it's not really that important due to uh, computers having enough memory and there being a lot of languages that manage their own memory inside uh, their own system and having garbage collection. But if you would like to go the embedded route or try to uh, learn C++ to develop high performance applications, then certainly that's a plus, but it doesn't work for every single programmer, right? Many would like to go the Java route or the C sharp route or whatever other languages might come in the future. And for those languages, it's not necessarily needed to learn memory management. Okay. I hope this was helpful to you and I feel like Learning C is never going to be a waste of time. So don't be afraid to learn at least a couple hours every week because it's going to help you help you a bit understanding some concepts in programming. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.